Hello everyone, this is just a quick little blurb about the new Hitman movie that's on DVD. Now I saw the movie in the theater and I thought it was actually very good, especially if you're a fan of the Hitman video game. I also spoke to some people that had never even heard of the video game before prior to seeing this movie, and they thought the movie was actually decent as well and the story was easy to follow. Now it is basically just an action movie and it's based on a video game, so don't expect much, but if you like action movies then go ahead and give it a rent. I wouldn't go out and purchase it or anything, but it's definitely worth a rent, and if you like it, obviously you can buy it then. Now, I watched the unrated version, and there is a few things added in, but not too much that I noticed that stuck out. But, it, you know, it was just very, very fun to watch. The movie basically chronicles this guy who was growing up inside of, like, a monastery, I guess you could say, where they train professional assassins. So he um, goes off, and, he, you know, you see him murder one person and get away with it, and then you see him go to this hotel, and he's going to do it again. Well, um, this is basically just a setup, and so the other uh, people in the agency are there after him, or the monastery, or whatever. The reason I call them a monastery, they all wear robes, and they're getting tattoos, and they're all quiet and stuff like that. I guess you could just call it uh, an organization. I mean, that's what they do in the movie. So basically, the organization is just trying to get him, is, is the gist of the movie. He's been set up, and so he's just going around and trying to stop it and solve the problem. And it's actually, a, you know, it's got a few plot turns and twists. It's got special effects that are really cool. There's, there's one scene where these cops are busting into his room, and he's jumping out the window, grabbing onto a rope, and rappelling into another room. And that room that he rappels into just happens to be playing Hitman on the TV. He kind of looks at it. And then just walks out. So it's kind of funny. You know, I'm glad they throw stuff like that in. And there is quite a few things thrown in from the game. Like uh, coin tossing, to, you know, to get people's attention. There's the switching of uniforms, which is, just, you know, just a dead giveaway. You know, there's obviously the weapons and everything that are in the game as well. But there's also smaller things. Like in the game, whenever you take somebody's clothes... It folds up the shirt nice and neat. Well, if you look very closely in the Interpol office scene, one of his shirts is sitting there folded up. So it's just kind of funny that they threw that in. I don't know if it was on purpose or by mistake, but it's folded just like it is in the video game. So if you like action movies, I recommend giving us a rent. If you saw it, you know how you feel about it already, obviously. And uh, good gaming, everybody, and good movie watching.